All right. As a hope uh, everyone can hear me. It's uh, safe and healthy, so we continue. <laughs> we continue today with the. So this is. Um, all right. So maybe schematically. So there is. There is, so this is an elliptic curve, and there's a very beautiful subject of elliptic homology. And so, uh, in, uh, in the previous lectures, we went around the subject uh, kind of in one direction, we maybe went around like that, talked about. What, what would churn classes be like in elliptic homology? We went around kind of the A cycle. And so today I wanna talk the complementary and maybe more, well, it depends. I mean, in some sense it's more concrete, in some sense less concrete. Or what would be, what would be, like how would you see elliptic homology and kind of cell decomposition, kind of, you know, cell oh, complexes. Yeah, maybe not the best notation. Anyway, so to uh, maybe get me, let me get my, uh, let me get my notes here. And so if I, um, so maybe, maybe the analogy, so, so, so analogy would be, let's say, Analogy would be with ordinary cohomology of X with coefficient maybe in some so so you want multiplication so that would be a ring R would be a ring and so this is so this is cohomology cohomology of some complex so there's a of a, of a chain complex. This is um, our I chain. Go to the differential, plus the plus one chain, and so forth. And each <clears throat> each complex is a uh, is uh, an R module. Each term of this complex is an R module. In fact, usually it's written to be a free R module, but it's not so particularly important for us like this. And so, and so in particular, i.e., a sheaf on spec R. Okay, so that's a. This is this was a, to be a ring because it has a spectrum, and so an R module is. A, and then further, there is also uh, in this in this complex, there is a cup product, maybe less important, but still in cup product that takes CI. We call it our no, cup product. Well, it takes CI tensor product. It's R linear, so I turn product over with J goes to ci plus j and it's satisfied well satisfy the usual rule that the uh, the differential of alpha beta is the differential of alpha with beta plus minus one to the double power alpha differential beta. so this would be an unfortunate choice of notation you can't tell my d from my alpha or hard to tell uh, my d from my alpha and so it's really so we while we think of this uh uh while we think of this uh uh while we think of this uh what, what was gonna say um 
So we, we, we take homology, it's usually, it, it's, it's this complex that is much more fundamental. So this is chain complex, what is really where it's, it's an element in the category in maybe, in maybe DB Koch, DB Koch on the spectrum of R. That's, it's much more, much more important than individual cohomology. Okay. And so, um, <clears throat> and so various properties such as, so various properties of, of cohomology such as uh, suspension. So there's a suspension isomorphism. Suspension property, what does it say? Suspension property says that uh, that if I want the I plus first, and this is for reduced. So reduced cohomology is cohomology modular. It's uh, it's cohomology modular the cohomology of a point. So there's a so maybe I'll write reduced of the suspension of X. Is the same as the ice cohomology of X itself. Both reduced. So that says the suspension shifts this complex by one. And so another also there's various properties like my Vitoris. Etc., which we'll discuss in a second. Uh, they both they all amount to to say that to saying that that the functor which goes from topological spaces to complexes so my, to complexes of our modules this functor this goes to um this is um, this is a triangulated. Is it is is a function between triangulated categories? Where so in triangulated category, well, it's I mean, the category of complex is a, is a prototypical example of a triangulated category, in which we have a shift by one. So usually those we, usually we define. Usually we define the shift by one. So if I want the the kind of shift by one i part, that is that is the i plus first term. So this is the shift the shift complex you know, shift by one shift complex this way. This is shift by one to the left so from my childhood i had a problem distinguishing from right to left and so this is how propagated the uh, propagated through my uh, entire mathematical career but i think i think i got this point right if it were... <laughs> no you never know if you, uh, please correct me if, uh, if i got right, right and left or wrong but it's, uh, uh, that also applies to right and joint left and joint and so forth so i uh, yeah, I admit this, 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 among many weaknesses, this is one. And so this is in this sense, that means since the suspension moves cohomology the opposite way, then this means the suspension should be like the shift by minus one. So that's my understanding of the convention. And then in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in the category of complexes, we have a notion of a triangle. A triangle is a um, is something that looks like this. If I have a map from some complex A, maybe uh, A, a maybe slightly unfortunate choice of notation, but it's just so some comp some map F to some complex B, then uh, then you define the cone, cone of this map F. So this would be where we're at. This will then move, this will then map to the cone 
from this map F, and then this will go to complex A shifted by one. And so what would be the, uh, the what's that, what's this thing? It has, so, so this object has to have, um, um, right, <clears throat> has to have what? It has to have a, a sub, sub complex B with quotient A. And so then we take, well, we take then, this means we take, we just take direct sum, or maybe I'll write it in the opposite way, take this direct sum, direct sum of the two, but with differential um, which is so it has to be uh, a two by two matrix, and it's uh, since B has to be a sum complex means means in this corner here I have to have zero. Because this is this is because B is sub, so it has to preserve B. Then here we'll take just the differential of B. Here we take the differential of A, but shifted by one. And the usual convention, normal convention, that this changes sign. If I shift something by one, this changes sign. And then, um, and then, well, here I just put F. This is the so uh, a, a triangle in the category of complexes is any uh, is uh, a triple that's isomorphic to a triple like that. So that would make the triangle this category. And so then, um, so that right, the fact that F is a map of complexes means that this new differential square that the new differential squares to zero. So exercise. And so then, uh, analogous notion. So analogous. You know, in topological spaces, for topological spaces, we have the co-fibration sequence. In fact, this is, I, 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 I don't know the history of the subject so, so well, but I think this is first actually appeared in topology and then, uh, then Poppy meant, so, so this is also called Poppy sequence. And that's, uh, he, I think he missed one of the axioms of triangular category. Well, like I said, I'm not an expert. For topological spaces, there is an analogous sequence called cofibration or or sequence. And you can see it behind me, but I'm going to draw it here. So suppose I have a map. So the only the complication with comparing with cohomology is that cohomology is a contravariant factor. So I'm going to write a map of spaces, but then we have to and so, you know, the maps on cohomology is going to go the the opposite way. But suppose I have a map from X. Suppose I have a map from X to some Y. Well, maybe X is like a circle, just for so X. There's this, there's a map. To some, to some set Y, which maybe Y looks like that. And then this is the image F of X sitting inside Y. Then, uh, then for, for a variety of reasons, 
it's good to 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 represent this map. Uh, first first thing to do is up replace replace the target of the map up to up to homotopy by something that makes this f an embedding. Namely, first we take so we can represent this map like this. We take so maybe yellow was unfortunate choice for for the color of y, but let's continue with that. So we have um, we can consider the mapping cone. Of this uh, of this f, what's the mapping cone? You take I take a cylinder over x, and I glue it to y along the along the um, the image of a map. So this is this is the mapping cone of f. Mapping cylinder. Of f, so that uh, so this is this is my y, and it's clear that this is uh, homotopy equivalent to to y itself. Right? So I just maybe I'll just write homotopy equivalent like that. So if I just shrink, so this is if I just shrink. Take that cylinder and just shrink it here, so that will be my my homotopy. And then I have my map now is replaced by just an embedding. So this is my x goes into y. And so now I've done this. I can this is this is kind of this is sort of equivalent to uh, to how. Uh, well, anyway, to what we did. Above, I don't want to scroll back. And so now we did. Now that we have that, we can mod out by x. We can we can safely collapse x. So we collapse. And so then, what what would happen? Then we would. Um, We collapse the image of this map X, so this means we take, we get instead of a instead of a cylinder, we get a cone. The cone is still a cone over X, so it looks like that. And so we go. This is this is this cone of this map. But then with the um, with this. With this sequence, this the sequence goes on forever because if we if we take you now here we can go by the same you know, we see here we have an actual map from A shifted by one to B shifted by one and so on. And similarly here, the sequence you can continue in the same fashion forever. Here we collapse so we have from X from map from X to Y and we collapsed X. So now, now we have a map from something which is Y, and we collapse the source of this map. So what will, ha what will happen if we collapse this, this, the source of this map is Y, and we collapse Y, then what will, what will happen? Well, We're going to get a suspension of x, right? We took y and we collapsed it to a point. So this is why, this is where that, this is what that point is. This is what remains. So what remains of y, and so then we get a suspension of x, and then we can continue. So this is this is one, and so we get, so we get this map, kind of the suspension. A map between spaces, natural mass between mass between suspensions. So this is got the suspension of y, and so on forever. And so, in the basic result is that if I take, if I take the sequence, so okay, 
fundamental result about the sequence. Is that if I take the homotopy classes from, let's just, uh, let me take maybe whatever I have here. I suspension of X, and then I take homotopy classes to whatever, to some, to some, maybe call it Z. And then, so this is the, um, so, so since I take homotopy classes from I suspension of X, some Z, this is any. Then I get so this is so I'm taking maps from so this the, the arrows get reversed so this is goes so this goes from here the homotopy classes I suspension of Y to whatever and then this goes to so the Right, and then this goes to 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 the previous term. Now this is this is this sequence is exact. And then uh moreover is exact so this if I take if I take if I take uh since I'm taking maps, so it's what does it mean to have an exact sequence of of set? But in fact, it's it's, it's an exact sequence of. So if I take maps from so the homotopy classes from the suspension of X. So if I take like you know loop like that into that this. That already is a group. It's a group by the same reason as a, as a, as a fundamental group is a group. So because if I can take, you know, kind of two, two maps like that. So if I want to, I would take a, if I have a suspension. I can map it to composition of the suspensions like that. And then this mapping to Z. This will, this will, you, you could say that it is a, a, is a fundamental group of the, of the uh, fundamental group of the mapping space from X. Yeah, exactly, exactly right. I mean, this is what Rome is saying. This bind junction. This is this is a this is a fundamental group of things, right? Exactly. Yeah. But so this is the same kind of operation that defines a product on fundamental group. Really defines it like that. This is this is the product. And in yeah. fact, and in, in fact, if I take, you know, if I take S two and higher, this is an abelian group. Maybe whatever else, bigger or equal, so maybe this is that notation. This is an abelian group. By the same argument as uh, why why um, why pi two is an abelian group, so that's the exact same argument. And so this is the sequence. If you go deep in it, this is going to be an exact sequence of abelian groups, and this is all cohomology theories are defined so that. They, uh, you know, they maps to some somewhere. I mean, it's just brown representability. So every cohomology theory, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be. Uh, this is how you get long exact sets in the cohomology, right? So that's, uh, um, so that's, and so this is, this is saying that uh, to say, to say that uh, so the long exact, so the long exact sequence. 
corresponding to the so the fact that the this uh, cofibration sequence gives you a long exact statistical homology. Well, it really it what it you can also say that the that the cofib that the uh, homology ordinary homology takes triangles to triangles. Well, that's kind of important. Right. Um, so this is this is uh, maybe a slightly more elaborate. So how do you see? You can see a whole variety of uh, of different. So in general, the general. So there's a so the general notion there's a um, or maybe I say oh, this is homotopy limits co limits of spaces they go to homotopy. limits sheaves once back are <clears throat> um, but I'm not I don't want to go into general categories here I'll just give you for for finitely many for you know, kind of finite finite homotopical and it's just this 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 all or also infinite, but let's just let's not. So this is somehow this in practicality this reduces to just one notion. So suppose I have so practicality. This is the reduce the following notion. Suppose I have instead of having instead of having uh, instead of having uh, uh, one map. Suppose I have two maps. Suppose I have a, some space X. And two different maps, maybe F and G to some space Y. So, very kind of the general notion could be reduced to this notion if I take if X is a disjoint union of some bunch of things and Y is a disjoint union of a bunch of things, and I have a two different maps, I want to kind of glue them together. And so, that the space I want to consider, what would be? The space I want to consider is the following. Suppose I have so this is f x is still I have uh, still I have my y. Let me choose a different color for y. So this is there is y and x. Let's x still be a circle in my graphical representation, and then I have two different maps. So maybe Albano looks like a this this eight I had before, and the other looks like well if I can draw a trefoil I'll attempt to do this. So this is kind of f of x, and there's a g of x. And what I can do is I can take a cylinder over x and glue this. So maybe try try to take a space like that where the this cross section is x itself. my x so I take a cylinder and I glue it here and so what I would like the this map to be be kind of like the kernel so this is this is the kernel of two different maps so maybe actually you know how do we what was the uh, so this is so maybe this is this is my space. Let's call this space. I already more, used that for something. Like yeah, right. That's right. So this is this would be the this would be this right. So this is this is 
Rome is right. So this is let's call this space. We already had a Z, but let let's call this Z now. Let's still let's still call this this space Z. This is different Z. This is different from before. Maybe before I should have called it like Omega or zero or something. So then then the cohomology of Z. What would we like it to be? Exactly, exactly. That's right. That's right. So it's a co-equalizer. That's that's uh, that's exactly right. So so the cohomology of that what would, would be sort of like, you know, what wants to be like the kernel of of two different maps from. Uh, so I have a cohomology of y. And then they have two different maps, so I can take the difference f minus g going to the cohomology of x, right? But uh, remember, in, in in category complex, we don't have a, a kernel; we have a cone. So what it really what it really is is I take a cone of this map, and I take and I shift it by one cone of it really is this. this. And I shift it, I think, by minus one. So I've uh, I already apologized ahead of time that I've uh, I sometimes confuse left and right, but, uh, but you, know, you can. I, I'm very happy if you correct me on 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 this sort of mistakes and other kinds of mistakes. So that's that's in fact kind of the most general uh, the most general. Uh, uh, the most general thing I will ever need to glue spaces out. So this is used to glue spaces out of thing, and this is uh, and so this exercise check that my research or check that my uterus is a special case of this. Uh, we will only we will only check the simplest case. I suppose we have a gluing. So this is kind of you know, fundamental, really kind of the simplest case of my retours is that we can uh, we can glue. It's just like gluing of 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 just really one cell. So if I want, what does it mean in this language? To glue one cell, it just it means that I have a if I have a glue an n cell to x. This means I I take as my y or maybe. Let's call clue and then sell to some space. Uh, to all be that space. So glue we already have X and Y, so maybe some space and Z. So uh what are the other spaces? X, Y, Z, maybe W. Since it's W. And what we're gonna be. So then we take and we take the um, as x, we take the n dimension n minus one dimensional sphere. That's our x. Oh, maybe you know. And I have a map that goes to embeds it as a boundary of n di dimensional disk, and I have some map. Whatever this is glue along along an attachment map uh, 
F, so this will be attachment F to some W. And so then this result of this gluing is, well, it's the co-limit on this drag, which means just a push out. So that's just, that's just, so that is, this is W with, Salt glue. Okay. And so this means this is this 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 the fact that this is I don't know. I don't know to, there is some notation for push out, but I think something like that. But just what I really mean is just this push out. Just mark it with. That's, so if you want to know what's the homology of a given space, well, if it's a, if it's a homotopy equivalent to CW complex, which we always assume it is, so then then you can uh, obtain your space successfully by um, by uh, by by attaching a, you know, cell at a time, and then at each time you compute a cone of some map. That's that's how you that's how you this is. This means how, this is how you reconstruct the homology. So, um, so in equivalent situation, the cells. So this is now this was uh, there's a motivational discussion of ordinary homology in a current situation cells cells the notion of a cell becomes more interesting so then we have we have equivariant cells to work with So, so this is this is the notion. The, the the so what what's an equivariant cell? The previously what was what was was point before? So previously, you know, the basis of all topology was a point, and there were different things. Or disk were disk were just different incarnations. Different disks of different dimensions were just different incarnations of the same notion of a point. So, but now point is is cha changing the role to a uh, orbit orbit of a group G. Because in in, in non differentiation well point is the simple the smallest topological space you can have, everything else is built out of points. In a current situation of a group and the smallest it can be it act, it can you know can can act on an orbit, which is one single orbit is the smallest unit of a topological space you can possibly have. And so this are there are many of them. There's a IE so there's a you know the kind of a choice of Take any subgroup that's an orbit, and so then, and so then the uh, equivariant cells have the form d n cross some orbit, where this is where here, here the group acts trivially. And here it acts as, as it acts. And so then we have an attachment maps are, well, equivalent maps. So the attachment maps would be that if I have, if I have SN, SN minus one cross, so that's the boundary of this. This may very well go by some map F to previously constructed space W. And then, well, this is, this is, an obvious embedding into d n cross g mod h, and so then I I have this with one cell kind of along this, this cell. And so this is my 
This is my push out here. Means its cohomology is then is then some uh, is some cone of things I already know. So that uh, right, 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 right. And then and then this is one part is that the cells are equivariant. And also we have to say what are the what's the what's the equivalent cohomology of of each individual piece. So that's the equivalent cohomology. So if I wanna so this is right, so this is uh, and now cohomology of each individual cell. Well by Cohomology should be a common type invariant, so this is just as well as yeah, so some graded in principle same thing. So this cohomology G mod H. And that should be some specified sheet. We need we need we need an ingredient. So previously we used to we, previously we used just cohomology of a point, but now we have to use cohomology of that specified shift on on what on uh, on the cohomology. <laughs> should have written, should should have chosen uh, on the spectrum. Cohomology. Of uh, maybe all right. So there was some G current. Shouldn't I should have chosen a a, a shorter word right to copy cohomology of G mod H. But but uh, by basic by basic kind of axioms so of what we expect from from group action. So Remember, we 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 expect that if I have a space with a free group action, then uh, then it's uh, equivalent cohomology is just the cohomology of the quotient. So that's that's kind of the basic axiom we expect. So that is that is this just comes. Uh, this is the image. Of the structure sheet. So the ring itself is called the structure sheet. Under, so the theory should be under. Um, so the theory should be. So if we take cohomology. It's a contravariant theory uh, with respect to current maps. Uh, when we take the spectra of cohomology, it'll be covariant with respect to current maps. So that we have to have have to have a map spec of of our cohomology. I'll just abbreviate. H equivalent cohomology of a point should map to the spec of G equivalent cohomology of right. So this is uh, maybe to reiterate. So if I if I make current cohomology, then I have to have an interesting, maybe an interesting ring or an interesting, uh, uh, maybe uh -huh. say ring or some other space, which which remembers the group current cohomology of a point. Then if I have a group homomorphism that it used should induce a map like that, and then a general the current cohomology of a general space, I can compute. I can decompose a general space, well, not a general space, general what people call reasonable space or something that is something which is homotopy equivalent to CW complex. Let's uh, let's say I, I can decompose it in cells and each cell I can uh, in each cell if I argue once all the time, it just means that every at every step I have to compute a, a cone of some map. That's that's how you compute the cohomology. And so now in elliptic cohomology now. In a current
there's a we don't have rings which have this we just have spaces have skins well skins which is which are take this place you know just you take the whole the spec of that don't have so we don't need there's no need no need for them to be a fine if it stays like this you're just taking we're computing we're computing with sheaves on some of some on some scheme and there's no there's no need for this scheme to be a fine right we computed it if you think of a if you think of the uh in ordinary cohomology, being cohomology of some complex or whatever, there's no, there's in principle no need for a complex to be a complex of modules over over some ring. It could be a complex of sheaves on some, on some on some arbitrary scheme. So this is the principle. For the definition of cohomology, there's no need to be to assume that your base scheme, you're working over some affine scheme. There's just no need for that. You have these schemes, so. Um, and what are they? I remind you. So this is this is the um, so abstractly maybe. The abstractly there's something like G bundles. They're like G bundles on the dual elliptic curve. The dual here is because I want the uh, kind of GL1 bundles. The, the bundles of degree zero, they're like they're semi-stable of degree zero. So, uh, so then uh, GL1 bundle uh, on, on an elliptic curve, It's uh, degree zero. That's well. This this is bundles uh, degree zero. So this is, takes longer to to write. This. So that's just 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 this pick zero of J one bundle same as line bundle. So on each check, that will be the curve itself. And so if if the group And so here I'm, uh, I I I I ask you for forgiveness now and for forgiveness in the future. I use the same letters to represent uh, compact groups or um, or complex reductive group, or reductive groups. Otherwise, it just gets very, very confusing because we we have we will have some torus action which is an algebraic torus, and I would like to define something in the elliptic homology with respect to that torus action. Of course, we take a compact form of that torus, but uh, it's uh, you know if we, if we have if we have different different notation for the torus and its compact form, that will be just I think that will be a nightmare. I think it's easier to remember that in topology we deal with uh, in topology we deal with compact groups. But in algebraic geometry, we deal with uh, reductive groups, and there's a for every. Uh, but this correspondence gets this correspondence gets complicated if your group's not connected. This is this is we, we're not we're not going to worry about that. If you're if you're disconnected non-abelian group, then it gets a little complicated. We we're not interested in that. We're interested in uh, in fact we're interested in the torus and the subgroups, which are for which. There's a natural reductive group. I mean, depends what you mean by reductive group. So, um, natural group scheme over integers. Let's put it like that, which is reductive for the generic point. So, so this is uh, and con but concretely. 
So if, if G is a compact group for for connected. Connected G, um, this elliptic homology G of a point. That's just uh, you take you take elliptic curve, but you tensor it with the co-character lattice. Of your group G, and you mod out by the bar group. That's concrete. Even more concretely, we will be mainly interested in building groups. T. Then, then a current elliptic homology of T or point. There's just E tensor the co character lattice. And if I have a map between tori, one here, torus one, maps to some other torus two, induces, so they have this induces map on co character lattices, and so then induces. Like for example, for instance, so suppose if I have, um, suppose for instance, suppose I have a torus and I just take the square and I take the product for a billion group. Product is a group homomorphism. Is a homomorphism for a billion groups. And what would be this? What would be the, this? This induces this is addition on you just induces whatever group law. For abelian groups, this is a group. This is an abelian variety. Right? So for this is this is just some number of copy of elliptic curve, and that's just this abelian variety. And this is this is a directly related. Think about it's directly related to the fact that that uh, in 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 the in the story in the section, the kind of classical story. There's a the uh you get you get group law from from things like tensor product of line bundles. Tensor product of line bundles have to do with the uh, have to do with operations like that for, for one dimensional group. Anyway, maybe let's okay, so that's so that says that for abelian groups I have a particularly so uh, and, and then we have a more general uh, homomorphism. Well, it's just uh, if I have maybe maybe so if I have in general if I have in general if I have some homomorphism, some exact sequence, some the torus goes to some. Up towards prime goes to one, and then, then, then here the kernel of homomorphisms of tori. This is called usually called a quasi torus, I think. 
in in particular it can have it don't have to be connected so there's a kernel of that this is this is induces the fact that then if I take elliptic uh, maybe call it maybe take this kernel gamma so then this says then there is I have an exact in just exact sequence of let's say homology of a point because these are these are this is a map of abelian varieties and maybe my abelian variety will be written be additively and then there's a kernel of that that would be that group like like for instance for instance if i have um if my torus is just a uh, well multiplexing group of a field which is right c star or a gm of my field well okay we, we're doing we're doing topology so let's just not just not we don't do algebraic we don't do motifs at the moment so let's just do that and so then i have i have a map c star goes to kind of z to the n map because the nth power that map is surjective and its kernel is the group of nth roots of unity here maybe denoted mu n this is just notation uh, and then then just says that the elliptic homology would be what would be that so we decided that this is the group operation on the torus induces the group operation on elliptic homology so that would be e this is just this is raising to the power n, which is multiplication by n. And then E, this map is surjective, and its kernel, there's just, this is denoted like this, these are groups, these are points of, por these are points of order On E, and and in general, so over over C, over C, there there's uh, this would be n square disjoint point. Corresponding to, to corresponding to so if I have a point of order n, this would be my well, fundamental. What would that look like? So I have my fundamental parallelogram D1 and tau. And then uh points of order, let's let me try to draw points of order points of order four. So that would be like something like that. Right, so this will be uh this is this is 16 points of order four, but over over some other field may look may look very different. Could be could be n points. So maybe of over over point over a field. over a field of characteristic P could be P point of fatness P has to be it's clear that this has to be a, a bunch of fat points because if I take the uh, if I take the um, the addition the addition for n equals p right 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 thank you thank you Roma you you're being super helpful today so maybe uh, right 
or could be or um, or could be one point of thickness of fatness p square. So this is uh, so so this is. Uh, it's clear that it has to be some fatness because if you just look at the at the addition law, so we kind of you know, if I took look at the addition law, then then it, the linear term in the addition law is the usual addition. So if you add a point to itself p times, you're going to get zero. So the 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 map that that is raising to the pth power, that map has differential zero at at point zero. So the zero is a point of of thickness, of thickness p. And so uh, the point is, I think, at least C, P. And so these are called, these are called, these guys are called super singular. And these are, these are uh, curves. And this is the locus. So this is, this is the locus where we, where the elliptic homology is really different from K theory. Because in K theory, so this is, so, I mean, you can you can imagine that elliptic homology is like K theory. Uh, you know, K theory says we have this. You know, we have this point of view that we we for us for us the elliptic curve is like C star mod Q to the Z. Or you can also do the same kind of theoretically, but it it is just really so. This is this is multiplicative group, or more more, more generally, the multiplicative group of the field. Sorry, you don't need star here. Reduce to mod of some power by z. But um, and so this is saying. So if you think about what we'll do, this uh, homology theory, it'll be saying like I take the k theory and I kind of make it periodic with q. And this is you can you can imagine all this phenomena pretty well until you get to the point to super singular curves. So because that is that is uh, that is. Uh, that is that is not none of the curves of this type is super singular. So that's 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 where the place. So this is uh, <clears throat> uh, you know I don't want to. Uh, I think I you know speaking for myself, I kind of came to appreciate that the that the elliptic homology is is has to be a little bit complicated. I mean, it can be because because there are these issues. If we have, if you want a theory that is, uh, that is, um, well, anyway, that's a long story. You can, but uh, but all I'm saying is that this, there are. This is. Uh, so let me let me go. Let me get back on track of what I was trying to say. I was trying to say that we have we know, especially for abelian groups, we know exactly. So this is this is a, a general abelian group is a, is is a subgroup of some torus and so this is we 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 know exactly what are the corresponding elliptic homology uh, of a point and so then then means we can uh, if I have any space of which a building group acts or 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 compact compact connected group acts then uh, then we can just cell by cell compute what the elliptic homology is and so let's do an example so we'll just so an example would be finally an example. <laughs> Let's take the uh, Let's take just a kind of a favorite example. C star acting on first is CP one. We we did the we did the cohomology of a general projective space, but let's just let's take P one. So P one looks like this, has the the south pole called it zero, has the north pole called infinity, and then it has this rotation action. And so this we can decompose out of the following cells. We can take, well, a fixed point at infinity and 
matrix point at zero. And we can take, oh, let's, let me, since I, when you write cells, it's important. When you write actual cells, it's important to remember the difference between the compact and, 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 and algebraic group. So I apologize, let me just get the E1. And, so, and then another cell is, well, you just take a cylinder, which is U1 cross, so that's my covariant cell. That's U1. This is my U1 free orbit cross disk one. And this is, and while we're at it, this these two points, here, that's a zero dimensional sphere. So we're gluing, in other words, we're gluing, if we're doing non equivalently, we'd be gluing a segment, we'd be gluing a disk to, we'd be gluing a disk to the, uh, to, uh, to the um, to the boundary of uh, so it'll be it'll be just a segment, but equivalently this would be something interesting, and this is in fact uh, this is exactly so. This is if I if I may go back. So let me do this. So so this is exactly the situation. Which situation? Let me go back. It's just this situation. So it's, it's, it's this picture. It's exactly the situation. Maybe be paste, paste, paste it here. Maybe I'll make it a little smaller. With what? So with with this being, this is my CP1. And then X is just a free orbit. So X is is just that is this U1 cross so axis so this is a free x is u1 we take we took a cylinder over over u1 here right this we get exactly a cylinder and why why here are the two points and two maps are the Are the map and the and the two different maps is I collapse I collapse I collapse the uh, uh, you know I send my x I collapse this u1 to one port or the other point so okay so that means that we this <clears throat> so that what would be um, so elliptic homology Maybe since I have to draw the, have to have to. Let me let me move these points around so that we can draw the diagrams, the way they're supposed to go. So y goes this way, homology okay. goes this way, y goes this way. And so what's elliptic homology of y? Elliptic homology of y are just two copies of elliptic homology of a point. So this is just to take. Take O two copies of elliptic homology, P one elliptic homology of a point. And that's just that's just my elliptic curve. Right. And then here I have one copy.
Well, I don't need a copy here. So you take one copy of structure sheet of elliptic homology of now. So this is this means that this point. So we need we need to remember we need the stabilizer subgroup. So we have a point. It means two 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 orbits of the form of the form u1 over u1 and this is and this u1 is u1 over the identity group so this corresponds to a free orbit so well, let, let me write it still here so that's the u1 of u1 this is like I said the stabilizer here is the identity group so this would be this would be elliptical homology of the trivial subgroup of a point. And then how that's that's just you know, that that is just the structure sheaf. So this object so what corresponds to a map of a trivial subgroup to maybe maybe I'll take this explanation and I'll write the so I'll write the answer and then I'll write the explanation. Here we had, for Y, we had two copies. Um, I'm not sure what's happening. So we had two copies of the structure sheet of E because that is, that is the, because Because E is the elliptical homology of U1 over point, and the point is what we had here. So we have two copies, and here I'm going to get just one copy of the structure shift at the origin, right? And this will map this way because it's a pullback map. And why am I going to get this? It's because I'm going to get it. So this is this is the image. This is the because zero is the zero inside zero is a set inside E is the elliptical homology of trivial group of a point sitting inside the elliptical homology of u1 of a point okay and now what are these maps here i have function these are functions and this is just value at zero and so then i have so maybe so if i have two functions an element in here or you know kind of two functions f1 and f2 or maybe Maybe it's just not, let's not confuse them with, we call them G1, G2. Oh no, this confused with the group. So um, how about phi1, phi2? And then, <clears throat> so here, the what would be the, what's the map that, that this, so if I, you know, if I, if I glue one side of the cylinder, to a point, then the map is going to be one of the map is going to be evaluated phi one at zero, and another map is evaluated phi two at zero. So that, that's the map. And now I have to compute the kernel of this map. That is to say, the cone shifted by one. But in this particular instance, in this particular instance, this map is surjective. Okay. This goes to zero. And the kernel of that is is what the functions are the functions pairs of functions functions that take the same value at zero such that such that f one of zero as is f two of zero. 
So this is <clears throat> what is that? So when I have when I have two functions and I uh, and I re require them to take the same value at a point, means I take two copies. Spec of that is so if I take specs. Spectrum. What I'm going to get here? Here I'm going to get a point. Here I'm get two two copies of elliptic curve. And here I'm going to get these two copies glued at the point. So here I evaluate this kind of, you know, I have, a, I have two maps from this point. So I have two different maps from this point. I can embed it here and I can embed it there. And then here, I mean, this means they're now glued here. In other words, this is the picture. So this is what we computed. This is what we have computed. Let's churn classes. And this <clears throat> and this exact sequence. This is the normalization. So this is, you take functions. So we take functions. What well, the exact sequence we got is we got, we take, took functions on, or I'll just write functions O of elliptic U1 of P1. So this is, these are functions on this. On the union of two lines at a, two elliptic curves at a point, then 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 this map here, this map here, this is the normalization. Right, so then you take uh, so if I have a function on a union of two lines, I can pull it back to normalization. So this is u of over the normalization. So if I have function, functions on the union of two lines at the point, I have a function on one line, a function on another line, I have to agree. So first I have a map, I map to normalization, and then I take the O, well, the intersect at the point. So O of the intersection. And in this case, it's rejected. Make sense? You can continue. So this is, you want to continue like that. So if I want to do the same, do the same for, um, let's say CP2, what's it going to be? For CP2, we'll have three kinds of orbits. So we have, maybe I'll draw, toric diagram of CP2, this looks like that. And so there's a there's a free, again, there is one free orbit. Orbit one. There are three orbits of the form so maybe so this would be uh, what what what's my torus free I, I you know maybe i didn't say did say um well what would be the torus I'd, I'd like to take so this is maybe um uh, maybe with the action so let, let's say let's say so that I, so that I have to I don't have to redo it. Let's take a torus with x with a free orbit. So maybe I'll take something like this. A two, a three. So 
I don't. So then it's really the, the three orbit. Three orbits which are of the so this my torus A. Three orbits of the form with of the form A over A, three points. And then uh, and then three orbits. Of the form, of the form, form A module one dimensional subtorus. So when we computed, so so we can when we computed the uh, the uh, you know, we compute the spectrum with the Chern class, we computed the spectrum of. Well, sorry, we don't need the spectrum here. I apologize. Computed the elliptic homology, a current elliptic homology of CP2. Well, we we computed that it looks like a union of um, three planes. Like this. That intersect. So this is. Uh, that's what it looks like. It's the three planes that intersect like coordinate planes in a three space. And then <clears throat> this we can nor there's a there's a normalization map. We can take these planes apart. So each plane represents a copy of E squared. Right, right, right. So this is this is exactly. So these are these are E twos glued like this. So we can take them apart. So there will be three E twos, which are which is which is each E two is elliptic homology. A current row point. So this corresponds to the, you know, this kind of corresponds to the red point. These are points. These are fixed points. Then, so if I, if I have a function, if I have a function on this, well, it has to have, it has to come with a function. Uh, so a function on this union. I can pull back to the disjoint union. So a function here comes from a function there, but then it has to satisfy uh, a condition on the on the intersection. So maybe there's a condition glued along E's. Each is correspond each correspond to elliptic homology. Of a mod one subtors maybe call it whatever a i the the three different subtori a, a this a i current homology oh point but then so this is if I want to functions on this on on three functions on uh three coordinate planes there are the the functions on each that satisfy gluing conditions on on the um, so maybe I'll draw pullback of functions. Functions go this way. So Pullback of functions, they go this way, and then then the next step, they, what you get is you have to you have you ha, you, you have to get things that that glue along the one-dimensional thing, so they have they you know they go here. But then, but you that map here that is a not subjective map that has itself a core kernel, and that core kernel is maybe I'll put it in in black. Core kernel of this map corresponds to just a point. And that point is is the elliptic homology of the trivial group. 
So notice there is a there is kind of an inversion, an inversion goes on. So if I have the in general elliptic homology, you you get something of the size not which is not the size of the orbit, rather the size of the stabilizer. So here we get here the orbits were the orbits were you know came in three different shapes. There were there was one big orbit, three smaller orbit and three very small orbits. But then we take the homology, we look at the at the lattice not of this orbit, but the lattice of I mean not how these orbits are big or small, but what are the stabilizers. And so the points are the biggest. So maybe I've uh, I should have so these are what is a point is very big, but is a, what's a, what's a free orbit is very small. So a free orbit here. So this is where the free orbit sits. Orbit, and this is where the points. Sit. This is this are fixed points. I already I already wrote the fixed point. Okay. So in a, in another way is that if I wanna if I wanna do this this cell decomp this this depicts here a cell decomposition. So that means I have an actual cell sort of the form. So this one free orbit is is actual disk which is depicted here. Is disk two cross. Um, Maybe I'll write S1 squared. These are orbits of the form, you know, the disk which is depicted, which is disk, not, 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 this is supposed to be a cross, cross S1. And then you take, uh, sorry, this, this belongs here. So this is, if I take that cell decomposition, you can easily convince yourself that I'm going to get normalization exact sequence for this object. And then uh, I apologize, I want to <clears throat> finish with something with a different point of view on the same example. So this is with, because the next time I want to start with actual stable envelopes. And so uh, let, let me let me go a little bit over time. And since I, I'm always guilty of that, so let me do it. Let me do it again one more time. Is that is that a different point of view on the same computation? On on, on the So when we glued CP1 out of cells, instead of gluing it like we did, we could have we could have taken a disk, not be a cell, be just you know, this is this is still gluing. So we could have we can take um, we can take a disk with its defining action. And take the boundary of that disk. So there is U1 in the boundary here. And and glue is just a point. So maybe this is point zero, and this is point which is infinity, right? <clears throat> In other way, we could have considered the diagram. So this is what? This is like the disk bundle. This is the disk bundle in the normal space. So zero. So we took, we could have, could have we take this, this free orbit U1 and we glue it to so again, this disk bundle, it also is a B of, of kind of defining representation. All right, in the, in the defining representation. Maybe call that defining representation A. We get A x by A, 
So there's an element here called A. And so you take the kind of disk bundle in this defining representation A, and then uh, we take the push out with respect to this point, and that this push part is CP1. And so then you can you can view it <clears throat> that same that same push out you can meet this is essentially the same computation. But in this in this computation we we made the roles of zero and infinity slightly asymmetric. This means in this computation you can write it as you take elliptic homology of CP1, maybe O. O of elliptic homology, my acrant elliptic homology of CP1, I can restrict it. I can consider what would be the restriction to infinity. Elliptic homology A to so just the point infinity. And so in this diagram, I <coughs> I can just you know, somehow concentrate on this part, and then what would be and what would be the kernel? The kernel would be the tom shape, tom shape of the defining representation, so to speak, you know, over kind of zero. This is this is a, this kind of a vector bundle. And so correspondingly, I, I'm gonna take the same, I take the same, I take functions on the union, but instead of pulling back them to both of the slides, I just I just pull back to one. So I restrict, so maybe, so maybe let me draw it in two different colors. So functions here. Here on here I'm gonna pull back to functions on so this is maybe corresponds to the fixed point infinity and this corresponds to the fixed point zero. I just pull it back to one line. So this would be a surjective map. And the kernel of that is well, we know we know how to think about tom shifts that are the functions on this line that vanish at the point. Right, so this is you you <clears throat> you consider you take all functions on this unit of two lines at the point, well, two elliptic curves at the point, then then you get, so in other words, you kind of, you know, you get this structure shift. What is, what's that guy? That is, there's just structure shift of this elliptic curve that corresponds to, to, to this fixed point. And that object, this object here, this is the ideal of zero in. In the structure sheet, right? So, so if I think of a struct functions on the union, I can I can think of this as a functions on one side, and then to glue this, the kernel of that, the kernel of this map, are the functions on the other side which vanish at that, at that point. And I think I've uh, I think I've exhausted the possibility to explain this. This is any kind of, and so what would be the what would be the uh, the analog this for general n? So if I have if I have my CPN, so maybe I'll, this is my picture of CPN. Inside of it, I have CPN minus one. 
And here I have some some point, maybe we call it zero. And that point has has the weights of the normal bundle are maybe I'll write them kind of a i over a zero. These are the weights. of the normal bundle. We can and so then if I take <clears throat> if I take this cell decomposition means I want to glue I want to glue the I want to glue CPN and the tom space of of this of this uh of this normal bundle. So in other words I take then then um then what I get is that I take um take elliptic homology c p n sorry the structures structure sheet of elliptic homology of c p n That subjects to the structure sheet of elliptic homology of CPN minus one, and the kernel, well as the tom shift, tom shift for the for for, for this uh, for this weight. A i over a zero. My God, for this, this is this is a particular for representations. Maybe a one over a zero. So force a n over a zero. And so, if I look at the spectra, what would that look like? So, if I take if I take my uh, that union of of planes, so maybe I'll draw it slightly differently. So if I take that union of planes here, and then one of them I single out. There is the there is this part that corresponds to this corresponds to to zero, and I can take functions and I restrict it. To just the part to just this part, so I take. A you know, function that restrict here, and the kernel. What would be the kernel? The kernel is well. well, well this is what always happens when the when the when the uh, Yeah, this means the computer is tired to doesn't want to doesn't want to work anymore. So just try the kernel by by. So the kernel is are the functions here that vanish. It's the ideal. <laughs> this is the ideal. That space by from an analysis of Tom space. That is the ideal. Of of this green part here. Right, so if I take that, makes sense. So that's a. So this is you can you can you can decompose. In other words, you can you can when you glue current cells, you can you can decompose. You can choose different strategies. You can you can. You can you can glue things like like we did before and get like a normalization sequence, but you can also do things like 
like this sequence and that that would be this would be our strategy would be more like this so there are strategy this would be so this would be a strategy to construct so um so I hope this works that this will be a strategy will will um will will uh, will help will will make you think about this example and uh and you know, make sure you're comfortable with, with, with what's going on in this particular example so that's uh sorry i my, my more time as usual so i I'll stop here and uh we'll we'll, we'll be happy to take questions. Any questions? Many thanks to Roma today. He's uh, he's been very uh, helpful, pointing out many and well, some of the many inaccuracies that I've I've uh, perpetrated. Well, if there's no there's no question, then then um, I wish everybody uh, all the best, and I see you uh, and I'll see you next week.